All right, almost done. Let's take a look at the Facebook data that we have. Um, so I, I, in a couple of, more, of, of, uh, of, of the following slides, we, I, I used the existing Facebook combined data that we have, and then uh, take a look at its properties on uh, whether it is a small world and whether it is um, scale, perhaps it is a scale free reference attachment. Uh, let's switch to that. All right. So from Facebook data, uh, what? Uh, so I'm, in in data analysis here, I first import the data in. So there are eight eighty eight thousand uh, nodes here. So um, the data looks like this: df dot head. Right. This is the df dot head. You have user one and connect to user two. Right. This is undirected graph. That's right? just the two just connected. So let's draw, uh, create the pandas, uh, an X from pandas edge list. Source is user one, and then this is user two. We have G uh, here, G. Uh, that is network X graph, right? So I'm going to draw it, but it will take a while. Uh, wait for it, maybe one minute for it to, to render. Right. Since this is this uh, Facebook data is actually from the actual data rendering all the sensitive information out, uh, so it would be nice to let's to take a look at the properties. Um, if you work with Pantip data, you can try this as well uh, by using uh, uh, the maybe drawing connection. If one comment with another, then you will see that it also behave uh, like the that the scale free and preference attachment. Okay, this is how it looks like. Uh, you can, you can from, from just this, you can clearly see that there have to be some of the highly connected node, otherwise it would become this, would not be this way. And there must have been, uh, there have to be some of the uh, cluster, cluster that uh, kind of gather together here. So let's first take a look at the degree, right? Let's plot the degree using just the distribution plot. Right. What I did here is just to get the degree out and then plot using distribution plot, and I get this one. This is the degree and the number of uh, of node belonging to that degree, and you can see quite an exponential trend here. That it has exponential trend, power loss. That means if I were to take log on both x and y axis and then plot it as, uh, and then I'll get this one, which looks like you can see that it looks like a linear if you draw a line here. Right, after 10 to the one. It's kind of linear here with this uh, relationship. Um, then let's uh, calculate the average charted part length from all of this. And, and then we will see the degrees of separations between each uh, individual, uh, or think about it as you and random person on the internet, right? And the average clustering coefficient. That's why actually, if you think about, let's wait for a while. If you think about Facebook back then in 2014, having the friend software information is actually very valuable because when you have a friend of friend, that's already one hop. Getting those friends and get another friend of friend, you have two hop, almost cover entire network, right? So uh, that's why in 2014, 13, Facebook kind of turning off, uh, not allowing you to see the friend of friends and also disable the stalking and cancel in that way. Okay, let's wait for a while because it need to analyze the, uh, especially in the shortest part length, calculating the, the average shortest part length, you need to calculate shortest part length for all of the pairs of the network. Okay. So while waiting, let's take a look at the scale-free network. So, yeah, it's actually called scale free because it had power law. I will try to find the, the reason for the name, but I, I think it is that uh, the, the network is uh, kind of not, not increasing by itself. But, but I will find it later on. Never mind. Let's, let's, still waiting. Right, 
Uh, so uh, for for this time, we we look at the network how network change over time. Um, if you, I want you to go and read the paper that I post, and um, and also if you have times trying to write a program a for loop to simulate the creation of the network like that, and then uh, maybe uh, trying to simulate this Facebook graph, uh, how to create the distribution that would look like this is really challenging in that sense. Um, all right, is it there? Not yet. A lot of note to cover. It's actually 88,000 times, right, choose two. Can imagine total number of that. So the total of connection would be 88,000 something times 88,000 something divided by two. Total number of the connections. Yes. Hi, um, so if we look at the power law uh, by definition, it's just uh, something along the lines of F equals uh, E to the minus X, right? F of X equals E to the minus X. That's, That's correct. Constant. So if we, uh, uh, we don't really have to take log log scale to see the linear relationship. We can just take the log of the F of X, but not the X. Uh, you take a log of the, uh, right, from this distribution, um, if you take a log of, of the... Just, just, uh, just the Px only? Right, just Px, and then uh, you have the value, uh, the alpha become the linear scale. Correct, just like this one. So, um, so I'm wondering why we need the log log scale to uh, visualize the, the linear relationship. Hmm, good question. Uh, why do you need the log log scale? Uh, let's try disable one out. This is not logarithm, right? Uh, it's not a logarithm, it's an inverse uh, power. So when you have logarithm, just uh, let's say, if I were to just take log of y. Then not x. Oops, np dot log. Np. Right, I will have this. Why is that? I wonder. You know why? Uh... Is I take I already take log of y. So what does it mean? I mean it means that I take the log of y here, right? And that means I take the log of y here as well, but not x. So here, uh, logs of c time x uh, two minus alpha. So I will have this value. Um, is it because the 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 function here that we are seeing is uh, dependent on the base of the exponent, but not the uh, exponent not the uh, not the exponent? It's uh, how do I call it? the part where if, you take if the it's, power? Uh, I'm sorry, if it's e to the minus alpha x. If it's e yeah, to then the take then alpha. take the log. You would just get the x, but here yes. it's it's reverse. Yeah, it's it's kind of an inverse uh, function. So, uh, so what what happened when you take log of x? So when when you take log of x, uh, think about it this way. Uh, in in terms of mathematics, when you take log of x, you kind of compress the high value, right, and leave the low value as is. Okay, so when you take a look at this picture, take a look at this picture, uh, you kind of compress this high value and then leave this variation as it is. Okay, and you can see that when you take a lot of x and when you take a lot of y together, you're also trying, you're also compressing the high value of y. 
compressing the high value of y, compress the range down uh, at low value, so that uh, you kind of have convert from this into more of the linear scale because you kind of compress the low value here and leave it as is here. And then once you, uh, the value increase on, on x direction and y decrease, um, it will become um, less and less, uh, it will be more compressed in, in x and less compressed in y. Okay, so it's kind, you kind of like, bending it uh, to uh, to have like um, having a similar chance like compressing one leave another uh, compressing another leaving one and then uh, by doing both you kind of uh, stretching giving them to have more chance uh, compressing uh, and, and internal compression and and then in terms of relationship between long and long is have the uh, the way like this one all right uh, let's take a look at the I... I think it can be easily proven uh, mm -hmm. that, that taking mathematically, I just realized that now because uh, log of x to the power of a constant, you can take the constant out from the log function. So taking log both ways, you will mm -hmm. get log x on one side and c times minus alpha times log x on the uh, on the on the y side and that's just a linear function right right so uh, so i so i can see that now that it's it's it will be perfectly linear if we take log both ways yes okay thank you good question thank you uh right uh let's take a look at the you can see it's, it's well calculating this is quite a long time uh, when you when we work with graph theory essentially the ter in terms of calculation i think it's more it's heavier than machine learning so computational computation wise um the algorithm itself does not parallelize that's pity um so if you can write a program to parallelize process that would be nice maybe using ipython parallel or using a parallel process to do the parallel analysis of, of this in you can think about the way that you can create parallel program here right this one is more of linear version right i i checked the uh, i checked the um the cpu usage and users one when i tried that right the short part length for this is 3.7 that means um just 3.7 hop then jump through the whole network approximate uh, uh, approximately and the cluster coefficient is very high Six. That means people are densely connected. So these are the two properties that uh, you should look for when you uh, take a look at the network. When think about it, when you represent the network, what you want to what you what you want to create is the connection between nodes, right? Draw the, the node together. But if you want to simulate that network and then uh, growing it, make prediction uh, in in terms, then you need to know mechanism that the node is attached and uh, preferential attachment and uh, preferential attachment and and small world are the two that have been used very often when we're dealing with network. Uh, so I hope you get something out here, and I hope you kind of uh, having uh, you are okay with this type of lectures. I'm okay to use my camera. I'm happy right, with the gear. All right, any questions uh, that you have here? I will, well, I will edit and then post it probably uh, tonight. And then you can take a look afterward if you want, right? And if you have any comments, post them into the group. I will comment to, to that later on, all right? So any questions? So if not, uh, let's call it a break um, and uh, have a good night. Uh, stay safe. Wash your hands.